Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you again for joining me at another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. I'm Eat Smoke Drink, and today I have the privilege of reviewing the SMWS 38.24. Oh, let me just check this right. 38.24 um, at 51.2 percent, 26 year old Capadonic. Capadonic, if you don't know anything about them, they are a closed demolished distillery. So that's it. There's no more Capadonic. Whatever barrels exist, that's all you've got. Um, every time I review a closed distillery, and I've only done one or two, you know, because you know they're, they're usually quite pricey. It's always a real privilege, and it's always a real experience um, to to do that. And this is a 26-year-old iteration of SMWS X Bourbon Refill Barrel um, to review today. Now, a little bit about Capadonic. Capadonic was actually found a lot, and probably still is, a lot in Shivers Regal blends. So they're owned by Pinot Ricard, and um, they're a space side whiskey. Look, it's really hard to know why they close distilleries and things like that, but when it becomes closed, obviously everyone goes crazy for them because they are closed, they're limited, finite, and you've got that fear of missing out, and also becomes more novelty. Now, I don't endorse all closed distilleries, by all means, that would be silly, but as an experience, they are ex extremely experiential. And I'm here today to review to tell you, is it worth the hype? Is it worth the price? And what cigar pairing should I give it today? So as usual, I'm going to have a sample with a few drops of water. Actually, I think there's only two in that one. And a sample with no water. So let's get nose in. Pretty exciting stuff. You can definitely get the bourbon barrel influence in there. Even though it's a refill barrel, it's still quite a strong influence. I'm getting vanilla, pine resin. I'm getting um, green leaves, grass, fresh cut grass, a little bit of kiwi fruit. And I'm getting a, this might sound strange, but I'm getting a really weird smell in the back end of it. Almost like incense. It reminds me of going to like a Japanese, a Chinese temple or a temple in Asia, and then you have that incense smell. So it's not a smoky smell, it's just incense. I'm getting gravel, stone, a bit of stainless steel. There's a fruit in there that I can't quite make up, make up, but... Like a dried raisin or a dried cherry. Overall, a very nice nose, very pleasant. It's got, right at the start of it, has a very Glen Elgin-esque nose. And they always say that it's like, um, like the baby wipes. You know that baby wipes smell? Sickly sweet baby wipe. We'll see with with water. Mm, very interesting with water. The fruit goes away. Actually, I'm not getting much on the nose with a few drops of water. It changes so dramatically. It's actually becoming a little bit clinical. A, a few more swirls and I start to get something. Okay, here we go. So the pine needles are coming back. And that incense smell is getting really strong. Talcum powder. I'm getting talcum powder. A chalkiness. I'm getting leaf litter. Mm, I'm getting leaf litter with a water sample. It's quite clear. It's like walking through the bush, pick off some leaves, and you just smell that damp leaf litter. A bit of rusty smell as well. I'm getting a bit of rust. Now, I don't know what that's about, but I'm getting rust. Hmm. Interesting. Now, a lot of the whiskies during this time, obviously, they, they distill them a little bit differently. They have older equipment, perhaps. And so the character is always a little bit different and interesting. And it's always a really good experience. So, I mean, this bottle here, how many bottles? There's only 270 of this particular run, uh, this outturn, so it's absolutely phenomenal. All right, let's get tasting. Mm. 
Ooh, there's some heat to that. There's some heat to that. Ooh. I'm getting a waxiness, almost like a crayon, a crayon taste. You know when you eat crayons? Yeah, I've eaten crayons. I'm getting that crayon waxiness and that wax smell like an unlit candle. I'm getting a bit of fruit, but to be frank with you, the alcohol is actually quite up there. 51%, it's not the highest alcohol I've had, but it is definitely very, very hot. A little bit spicy, I'm getting ginger, white pepper. Mmm, we just have to take that last sip. Mmm, I'm getting a hint of savouriness in there, minerally, it's very minerally. Waxy, not oily at all. Vanilla, toffee, I'm getting, um, a little bit of dark chocolate coming through, which is very interesting. Like quite a dark chocolate. You know how dark chocolate has a slight salinity, slight savouriness, but it's a, a, the cusp of savoury and sweetness, it's like that. Mmm, that's a treat. Let's try it on with the water. Mm. With the water, the burn almost disappears. There's almost no burn. I will tell you right now, add the water. It opens it up. I'm getting much more intensity of flavors. In fact, the flavors that I'm getting is actually similar to this one, but the alcohol masked a lot of it. So the flavor has become more intense and the alcohol has subsided. That's only with three or something drops of water in there. That's how much it changes it. It's bloody amazing. Mmm. But there is the incense, I don't know what that is, is that there's that medicinal incense-y kind of smell coming through. I'm getting some herbal notes in there now. I'd say some tarragon, a little bit of licorice, um, chocolate still there, um, a dried fruit of some sort, I think it's a dried cherry or maybe a, dry, a raisin, maybe a really dry raisin. I'm getting some of that. I'm getting some spice, ginger spice, a hint, a hint of green capsicum, right in the back end there. The finish is long, but not intense. Um, so it's not oily, it's waxy. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's quite a treat, um, just because of the novelty factor of the bottle itself. Mmm. Oh man. I'm getting a bit of, um, I'm getting a bit of fresh cut grass there as well. A bit of resin, a bit of that leafy resin. I'm not sure if it's a pine resin now, but yeah, I think it's probably a pine resin. You know when you touch a pine cone or you pluck some pine needles and you get that resin in your hand? You know, it's like that. That's, that's what I'm getting, the picture that I'm getting in my head. Outstanding. Outstanding whiskey from an experiential point of view. Definitely outstanding. Um, cigar pairings for this. Oh, look. Um, I'd say it's quite a robust whiskey, it can probably handle most cigars, but just the luxuriousness of it, and I don't know if that's just me, but when I have a luxurious whiskey, something rare, um, I will always pair it with something rare as well. So I will get myself something that's quite ultra premium because I want the experience to be ultra premium. That's just me, I'm a, I'm a bit OCD in that regard. But this will handle pretty much most um, most cigars because it is quite a robust whiskey. By all means, it's not a mellow whiskey at all. This will really, really shake you. Um, in terms of would I buy this again? Oh, well, yes, I would if if I if I had the money to just fork out like that. Yes, I would. Um, this one was actually a shared bottle buy with a um, whiskey group, and I mean, this will probably retail at about six to six to seven hundred, six to eight hundred dollars US, six to six to seven hundred US if you were to find it. Um, I don't know if that's easy to find. It's only 270 to spread across the world, right? So, but this is about 
at least it'll be at least six or seven hundred US. So yes, I, I would. I mean, if, if you if you could buy something like that, why wouldn't you? Um, but it's not something that I would have every day or just casually. Uh, I mean, I'm not I'm not baller enough for that. But it is outstanding and it is a hell of an experience. Thank you very much for joining me today and let me know your thoughts. Have you had a Capadonic before? The SMWS or have you had another Capadonic before? Let me know your thoughts on Capadonic and what your impressions are. And um, thank you for joining me and please, um, I'd love you to hit subscribe and that bell so you can keep up with new episodes that I have of more whiskies, more cigars and just more indulgent stuff. See you again next time.